Let's code a story. We use code to make our characters act. Let's make Baby Bear happy. Tap on Baby Bear. This is where we write code. This circle is called an event. This one is the when tapped event. So when Baby Bear is tapped, the code that's here will run. Let's add the act command. Now you try. We have to run the code to see it work. It's not running because we're in edit mode. This gray frame lets us know we're in edit mode. To run the code, we need to be in play mode. Press the play button to go into play mode. Do you remember what event we used? The win tapped event. So let's tap Baby Bear to run his code. Press the wrench button to go back to editing. Now let's teach characters how to speak. Papa Bear is sleepy in the morning. Let's make him do a big bear yawn. Tap him, and we'll use the speak command to record our voice. <sighs> Press the green check mark when you're done. Let's try it out in play mode. Press the play button. Now tap on Papa Bear. Next, the bears go out for a walk. Let's do that in a new scene. Go back to editing, and click on the purple tab, and click the new scene button. This new scene is a copy of your old scene. Let's teach the bears how to walk out of the house. Tap a bear. Drag in the walk to command. Tap where you want the bear to walk. I'll tap in the gray area to make it look like the bear walks out of the house. Then repeat with each bear. Press the play button when you're done.
That's enough for this scene. Let's add a new scene. Let's erase the bears in this scene. Tap on the eraser, and then tap on each bear. Now we'll have the blue monster show up. His name is The Glitch. Press the pencil button. Then drag in The Glitch. Let's teach the glitch how to eat. Tap the glitch, then drag in the eat command. Tap the carrot. Add more eat commands so he eats the meat, and then the whole table. Try it out when you're done. That's enough for this scene. Let's add a new one. The glitch ate the table in the last scene, so we should erase it. Let's add our bears back in. I'll drag the glitch to the right, tap the pencil button, find the bear, and then drag three in. We need to make Papa Bear big and Baby Bear small. Tap Papa Bear, but then drag this resize button away from Papa Bear. Tap Baby Bear and drag the resize button towards Baby Bear.
Instead of waiting to be tapped, let's have the bears run code as soon as the scene starts. We'll need a new event. Tap mama bear and drag down to the plus button and press it. And press the when scene started event. code beside this event will run as soon as the scene starts. Let's make Mama Bear look sad. Drag in the ACT command, then tap this white box. It's called a parameter. Change it to the sad parameter. When you're done, try it out in play mode. From here, you could end the story any way you wanted to. Let's play our story from the very beginning. Tap the purple tab, then tap the first scene. Tap the play button, then you can play through the whole story using the yellow arrow. Let's talk about what we learned today. Today we learned how to add characters, scenes, and add code, like speak, act, walk to, and eat. We also learned about events, like the when tapped event, and the when scene started event. I hope you've had as much fun as I've had.